Um, I'm Jennifer Terrell. Uh, I am a natural science, life science major. Um, if you have a hard time hearing me because I have a little bit of a cold, just let me know it's okay. Um, behind this is to strengthen and reinforce um, desired behavior immediately and you also want to make sure that you extinguish any unwanted behavior. Um, the other idea is you want to shape complex behaviors through um, successful approximation. So this just means, you know, over time if, let's say they're showing a behavior similar to what you're wanting, you want to reinforce that behavior and then go off of that over a longer period of time. So the first method that I chose was the 9-10 rule. And this is just saying that 90% of your interactions with your students you want to make positive, whereas you know, you want to make sure that there's 10% or less of that negative interactions um, because students respond better to positive reinforcement. They're not going to necessarily want to do what behavior you want them to do if you're constantly being negative towards them. So the ripple effect, it's similar to the 90 and rule, but in this instance, what they're trying to do is you're doing individuals and groups, and is to try to get that behavior to spread throughout your class. So if there's a behavior that you want all your class to have, you start with small groups, and you go from, and you hope that the rest of the class will pick up on that and want to do that behavior because you're praising the groups that are already showing that behavior. Um, so examples like, you know, fair responsible work, work group two, and like individually you could be like, I can always count on you to know what to do next. Um, and then the activity, and we're a little short on people, so we're actually just going to do three groups. So, start off counting. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one. Okay. All right. So you, so we have ones over here, twos in the back, and threes over here. Okay.